as we continue to be in the midst of Holy Week today, uh, doing it global pandemic style this year. I'm reminded of one of the events of the last week of Jesus' life. All three synoptic gospels record uh, what we re commonly refer to as the cleansing of the temple. The cleansing of the temple is the moment when Jesus got really ticked off and upended all the tables of the money lenders um, and just plain got angry. And sometimes we forget that when you ask the question, what would Jesus do? One of the options is be angry. There are moments and times when anger is the only holy and just, prophetic, righteous response. When anger is necessary, appropriate, and sacred. Some of us probably have had moments in the last few weeks where we've been angry. And some of that anger has been the only legitimate response to some of what we're living through. In the last few days, we've started to hear about some of the ways that injustices are playing out across the uh, COVID experience, particularly in the way uh, people of color, African Americans in particular, are uh, dying in disproportionate numbers because of the vulnerability of their communities, uh, because uh, of some of the systemic ways we have treated people of color um, and, and the options available to them and the inability to, uh, to socially distance um, as people who are wealthier have been able to do. That makes me angry. That should make me angry. That should make us all angry. It would most certainly make Jesus angry. Anger isn't the problem. It's when we don't use it to push forward for justice and for what's right. That's the problem. When we started Lent, I thought we were going to spend most of this time talking uh, about how to move towards a more just and generous faith. There are so many unexpected opportunities to practice justice, to push for justice to act with generosity, both generosity of our financial resources, also the generosity of spirit that the world very much needs. And so I wanna encourage you in those moments when you are feeling angry right now, not to try and dissuade yourself from feeling that, but to try and figure out how to turn it into resolve and energy. If you feel angry now, what I hope you spend some time thinking about is what you're going to do with that anger.